I mean, it's cliche, but just stay in my lanes. Yeah. You know, just execute everything that me and my coach work on, execute my phases, and I knew I'd be hard to be if I do that. And like 2021, are you training full time, but you just can't race, or is it hard to keep it up when, you know, the opportunity to race isn't there? He may have just laughed it off, but Christian Coleman's track achievements are indeed filling up a long list, and he plans to continue to add more to it. Now that the Paris Olympics is just a few months away, he's more determined than ever to exhibit his dominance in the sport. With the way he climbed up the ladder to success, so to speak, it is quite obvious that running is truly in his DNA. In fact, Christian Coleman's thunderous speed is hard to match. The world's number one ranked in the 100 meter for the 2017, 2018, and 2019 seasons has expressed his goal of a podium finish in the upcoming Summer Olympics. In an interview, he shared how he feels the upcoming 2024 Olympics in Paris, France will be the best there has ever been, as he believes that this edition of the Olympics will surpass its predecessors. I feel like it's a special year, 2024, just to have the opportunity out there on the horizon knowing that this Olympics is going to be like the biggest ever, he noted, referencing the potential for a vibrant atmosphere with the presence of fans. It's pretty cliche, I guess it continues like this every single time, but I feel like this will be extra special just because last time, there were no fans. There was COVID and everything. He also noted that France, as the host nation, adds another layer of significance to the event as he highlighted the unique nature of the destination, describing it as a destination city within itself. I look forward to the opportunity of getting there first, and I feel like I'm in the best place I have ever been, so I'm looking forward to it," he shared. Knowing that he has the chance to compete at a high level against the best guys in the world, he is very much aware of how important it is to be ready for it. After all, he will be up against the best athletes in the world. With that goal in mind, Christian began his Olympic year ready to take on everyone else, including his fellow U.S. track and field star Noah Lyles. Around mid-February, Coleman blazed a victory in the men's 60-meter at the Milrose Games, winning the event for the third consecutive year. The world indoor 60-meter record holder clocked 6.51 in New York City, a week after Lyles ran a personal best of 6.44 in Boston. After the race, he shared, I was just happy to win, really. This is a world-class field. These guys are running fast. We're going to clean it up and run next weekend referring to the U.S. indoors where Lyles dominated in the 60 meters. Fortunately for him, he once again became the reigning champion in the 60 meters. In early March, on the first day of the World Athletics Indoor Championships, Coleman secured gold in the 60 meter race. The 27-year-old athlete who holds a world record in the event finished the race with a world leading time of 6.41 seconds. Noah Lyles, the 100-meter and 200-meter world champion on the other hand, clinched silver on the tracks of Glasgow by clocking a time of 6.44, followed by Jamaican runner Akeem Blake in 6.46, while Team Kenya's Ferdinando Manyala failed to reach the podium. Following the win, an ecstatic Coleman, whose 6.34 world record has remained untouched since 2018, stated that he will keep on working on his momentum to maintain his winning streak at the outdoor events. It felt amazing, especially because I didn't see anybody beside me. I feel like I put together as good a race as I could have today, even though I feel as if my ceiling is a lot higher. He did add that the exciting part is that he can just continue to keep building and building all the momentum that he gained there. You know, I know the outdoors will be really special for me, Coleman told NBC Sports in a post-race interview. Well, the outdoors is proving to be going in his favor so far. As a matter of fact, a couple of days ago, Coleman got the better of fellow former world champion Fred Curley in the men's 100 meter at the Jamen Diamond League track and field athletics meet. Although World Indoor 60-meter champion Coleman failed to make his customary fast start, with 2022 world champion Curley leading through the first 30 meters, the 28-year-old picked up well in the middle of the race and moved past his compatriot to win in 10.13 seconds. Curley secured second place with a time of 10.17 seconds, while Akeem Blake, another crowd favorite, completed the podium, finishing in 10.20 seconds. Johan Blake, who holds the title of the third fastest man in the world, experienced a surprising setback, finishing ninth with a time of 10.43 seconds. 
Anyhow, it was a remarkable win for Coleman, especially since he was beaten over 200 meters in Florida by Kenny Bednarek a few weeks back, and said afterwards that he hopes to double up at Paris 2024. It is also the three-time world champion's first outdoor gold medal of the season, and he is excited about his Olympic future according to Athletics EU's Instagram post. Coleman had high hopes when he arrived in Jamin as he had not yet begun his 100-meter outdoor races, having previously competed in the 200-meter race at the Miramar Invitational. Notably, the athlete is focusing on these two major categories this year as his goal is to compete in them at the Olympics. However, the path to Paris will not be easy, and the 28-year-old is not afraid of any challenges that await him on the track. Needless to say, it was a fascinating season opener for Coleman, and he is ready for more. I feel good, he said. I know in the right timing, the times will come and the victories will come as well. The following weekend, the Wanda Diamond League continued in China as the world's elite track and field stars descended upon Suzhou Olympic Sports Center for the Shanghai Suzhou meeting. There, South African sprinter Akani Simbine surged late to win the 100 meters in 10.01 seconds, upstaging American former world champions Christian Coleman and Fred Curley. Coleman may have been the fastest out of the blocks and was leading most of the way, but he had to settle for second place in his season best 10.04, holding off Curley who was third in 10.11. The race had been billed as a showdown between the two Americans going head-to-head -head on back-to-back -back weekends in China, but South Africa's Simbine overtook them over the last 20 meters of the race. Coleman said he expected a better performance, but was fine with today's result as part of his preparation for the Paris Olympics, which starts in late July in Paris. Anyhow, Christian Coleman has opened up on chances of attacking Usain Bolt's long-standing world record in the 100 meters. Just so you know, Bolt set the record during the 2009 World Championships in Berlin, clocking an astonishing 9.58 to cross the finish line. Since then, the athlete who has run closest to Bolt's record is Tyson Gay, who retired having a personal best time of 9.69. During the pre-race press conference ahead of the Diamond League meeting in Suzhou, Coleman admitted that there is a possibility of attacking the record. Guys running today are not far off 9.58, he noted, but it has to be perfect conditions on the right day, the right competition, and the right venue. If you're focusing on running properly, like executing a good race, I feel like those type of magical moments happen. Will he be able to achieve this magical moment in Paris or even before then? That we'll have to see. Do you think this athlete will have a magical moment in Paris too?